वेलकम एवरीवन दिस इज अनदर वीडियो ऑफ लिनियर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चंस सो माय फोकस इन दिस वीडियो विल बी सॉल्विंग लिनियर डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन बाय ऑपरेटर मेथड एंड प्राइम फोकस विल बी ऑन फाइंडिंग द पर्टिकुलर इंटीग्रल then i will be talking about method of variation of parameters and method of undetermined coefficients and in the latter part i will also talk about euler cauchy form of the linear differential equation so let's start in case if you are new to the channel please subscribe it and in case if you have not watched the previous two mcq video you can watch them as well so let's start find the general solution of uh, this differential equation and this is a non homogeneous linear differential equation so its general solution will be written as y is equal to complementary function plus particular integral uh, see before i solve this i again want to highlight this thing that in case if you are not familiar with any of these terms that i am using you have to watch the complete playlist of linear differential equation which i have created separately right so here i am presuming that you already know the things it will uh, it will help you to do the quick revision so y is equal to cf plus pi so to write the cf we are writing the auxiliary equation that is m square uh, plus 5m and plus 4 will be equal to 0 and uh, this can be factorized as m square plus 4m uh, plus m plus 4 is equal to 0 so if i uh, write it again i will write m common m plus 4 and here i will take one common i will write m plus 4 is equal to 0 so you can see that roots will be minus 4 and minus 1 so the complementary function will be uh, c1 e to the power uh, minus x plus c2 e to the power uh, minus 4x here they have used the constant a and b so i could also have used the constant a and b so let me call it a and uh, let me call another constant as uh, arbitrary constant as constant b okay uh, see if i look at the options it is very much clear that uh, you know this uh, is matching but since there is a none of these option also i need to find the pi as well so how to find the pi to find the pi i have to operate 1 by i hope you know this is in operator form d square Uh, plus 5d plus 4y is equal to 18 e to the power 2x. So I will operate d square plus 5d plus 4 uh, over 18 e to the power 2x. So 18 is a constant and it will come out. And which formula I am going to use? I am going to use this formula: 1 by f of d of e to the power ax is equal to 1 by f of a. e to the power ax provided f of a is not equal to 0 so in case if i put d is equal to 2 here i will get 1 by 2 a square plus 5 into 2 10 plus 4 e to the power 2x so 4 10 14 and 4 18 and this is 18 so it will cancel i will get e to the power 2x so this is your cf and this is your pi so the correct option will be option b uh, next question so if you uh, look at this uh, because uh, our prime focus is on finding the pi how to find cf we already have discussed a uh, lot of problems in previous video so next few problems will be related to finding pi only so how to find pi here uh, i will write 1 by uh, d square plus d minus 6 over e to the power 2x and i hope you know that how to write this now uh, if you look at this if i put d directly i will get what i will get 2 a square that is 4 plus 2 that is 6 minus 6 that is equal to 0 so the direct formula that i have used in the previous problem can't be applied here so this is a important kind of problem usually they ask so in this what you do in this the process is that you multiply in the left of the operator by x and then you differentiate this operator with respect to capital d so you will get 2d plus so one e to the power two x. Now substitute in place of d two and check whether it is becoming zero or not. So you can see it will not become zero because I will get two into two four plus one that is five e to the power two x. So which option will be correct? One by five x e to the power two x. So this option will be correct. Okay. So let's solve the third question. 
so to solve the third question again i am going to apply the operator that is 1 by d square minus 6d plus 9 on 14 e to the power 3x sorry so if i apply this uh, what will happen 14 is a constant out of operator and if i put d is equal to 3 here can you see it will become 9 minus 18 plus 9 so it will become 0 so what we have to do we have to uh, multiply by x and we have to differentiate this with respect to d so i will get 2d minus 6 e to the power 3x now substitute d is equal to 3 you will get what 2 into 3 6 6 minus 6 is equal to 0 so again we have to repeat the same process means we already have 14 into x so i will multiply by x again and i will differentiate this with respect to capital d again so i will get 2 e to the power 3x so this 14 and this 2 is cancelled i will get 7 and from this i will get x square and e to the power 3x so which option is correct the option number c is correct next find the particular integral so how to find the particular integral 1 by d square plus 9 i operate on sine 3x i hope you remember the formula that 1 by f d square of sine a x is equal to 1 by f of minus a square sine a x provided f of minus a square is not equal to 0 so here a is equal to 3 a square will be equal to 9 minus a square will be equal to minus 9 so if i put minus 9 directly minus 9 plus 9 will become 0 so we can't apply this formula so again this is a case of failure so what we have to do we have to repeat the same thing we multiply it by x in the left and then we differentiate this with respect to capital d d square will give you 2d and then sine 3x so what do i get i get x by 2 and 1 by d of sine 3x this itself can be asked as a multiple choice question if d stands for the differential operator 1 by d stands for the integration so it means what it is x by 2 integration of sine 3x that is equal to minus cos 3x divided by 3 so which option will be correct it will be minus x by 6 cos 3x do we have that option x by 6 minus x by 6 cos 3x so the b option is correct next find the particular integral so this is a very direct question the particular integral will be d square plus 9 over sine 2x so if i uh, what is a here here a is 2 what is a square a square is 4 so what is minus a square minus a square is minus 4 so in place of d square i will put minus 4 plus 9 sine 2x so it is direct formula based i will get 1 by 5 of sine 2x do we have that option we have the option that is option number d next find the particular integral uh, so how to find see in the exam it may not necessarily be just to find the particular integral it may be related to finding the general solution or maybe finding the particular integral but uh, the point is that uh, in the previous video and in the playlist i already have discussed many such problems so i am just focused on finding the pi here so what will be the pi in this case it will be 1 by uh, 2 d square minus 5 d plus 3 and that I will operate on sine x so ladies and gentlemen uh, for d square I have to put minus a square so I will uh, put minus 2 minus 5d plus 3 uh, sine x so this will give me what this will give me 1 by minus 2 and 3 so that will be like 1 1 minus 5d of sine x at this stage we we can't replace d by a because the rules tells you that you have to replace d square uh, by minus a square so i want to get d square here so for that i need to multiply by 1 plus 5d in the numerator basically this is we are operating but in loose sense we are saying that we are multiplying and 1 plus 5d if i do that in the de uh, denominator it will become 1 minus 25 d square and that i will operate on sine x right so d square is minus 1 so 1 uh, minus minus plus so this will become 1 by 26 and 1 into sine x will be sine x and plus d of sine x will be cos x 
so sin x plus 5 cos x so 1 by 26 sin x plus 5 cos x so which option is correct 1 by 26 sin x plus 5 cos x I hope other options are different okay so the D option is correct this is another kind of see we have uh, tried to incorporate multiple type of question exponential sign case of failure now I am taking a question where the right hand side is a, uh, a uh, you know polynomial function so in this case the operator will be 1 by d square plus 25 and that I am operating on 4x square so what we do in this kind of problem we take the lowest degree term that is here constant term so 25 common I get 1 plus d square by 25 and that I have to operate on 4x square 4 is a constant so can be taken out I will get 4 by 25 and this can be written as 1 plus d square by 25 to the power minus 1 of x square so I will get what I will get 4 by 25 and I will get 1 minus d square by 25 1 minus and then plus there are other terms also but there is no need because we have a second degree polynomial so after d square the derivative will become 0 so no, no need to write that so in the end I will get 5 by 4 by 25 1 into x square is x square minus 1 by 25 and d square of x square so d square of x square means what differentiation of x square twice so if you differentiate it once you will get 2x if you differentiate it twice you will get 2 so I will get 2 here so what is the answer 4 by 25 x square minus 2 by 25 so 4 by 25 this and this and here x square so this option will be correct okay so I hope uh, you are getting the things uh, next question is find the particular integral so it is another kind of question uh, see the effort that I have put is to uh, keep all kind of question so here is another kind and in this I will be using the formula that is 1 by FD of e to the power a x into V is equal to e to the power a x into 1 by f of D plus a and that I need to operate on V so you can see this is situation like X and where V is a, a function of X so we can see it e to the power a x into V where uh, in place of V we have X so how do I do this I write uh, d square minus d minus 6 and that I need to operate on e x e to the power minus 2x so a step number one take the exponential term out so e to the power minus 2x out and I will replace d by d minus 2 so I will get uh, 1 by d minus 2 whole square minus d minus 2 minus 6 over x okay uh, continuing in this side so that we have a space sufficient e to the power minus 2x I will get what I will get 1 by uh, d square uh, plus 4 and minus 4d a square plus b square minus 2ab and minus d uh, plus 2 and minus 6 so you can see it is plus 4 and plus 2 and minus 6 is cancelled that I have to operate on x so I will get e to the power minus 2x 1 by d square minus 5d so d square minus 5d and that I am operating on x so what we have to do next we have to take the uh, lowest power of d common so the, that is d uh, minus 5d so I can take 1 by minus 5d common and I will get 1 minus d by 5 is it making sense it is minus 5d and it is minus minus plus 5 5 cancel d square so I will get x so I will get e to the power minus 2x 1 by minus 5d and 1 minus d by 5 inverse of x right this will give me what this will give me uh, e to the power minus 2x by minus 5 e to the power minus 2x by minus 5 and 1 by d and see 1 minus so there is a result which I am going to use that is 1 minus x to the power minus 1 if which is 1 plus x plus x square and so on so here we have x term so we just want up to d, d power d square we don't want so I will write 1 plus d by 5 and that we have to operate on x so continuing in this side I get e to the power minus 2x by minus 5 and 1 by d and 1 of x is x and d by 5 of x so 1 by 5 is a constant and derivative of x is equal to 1 so in the last step I will write e to the power minus 2x by minus 5 
and 1 by d is what 1 by d is integration so integration of x is x square by 2 and integration of 1 by 5 is 1 by 5 x so which option will be correct anything I need to simplify it so I am doing the simplification here because we don't have a space so e to the power minus 2x by minus 5 and here 10 is the LCM so I will get uh, 5x square and then plus 2x right so do we have some op option like this uh, minus 5 into 10 is minus 1 by 50 so basically I get minus 1 by 50 e to the power minus 2x uh, 5x square plus 2x so minus 1 by 50 e to the power minus 2x 5x square plus 2x so this option will be correct uh, look at this question carefully it was slightly more engaging and kind of uh, better problem now uh, I am done with the operator method part now I'm going to take questions related to uh, method of variation of parameter so again uh, here there is a simple question that find the particular integral of this but the important observation is that in the right hand side we have cos x so when we have cos x in the right hand side we don't have any specific formula in particular uh, in operator method so I will prefer solving it by uh, method of variation of parameter so how do you solve it by method of variation of parameter first of all you write the auxiliary equation so for this uh, auxiliary equation will be m plus m square plus 1 is equal to 0 so that will give you m is equal to plus minus i and then you write the complementary function you might be thinking sir why do we need the complementary function because to find the particular integral we need y1 and y2 two linearly independent terms uh, or solution of this which comes from the complementary function so if plus minus i are the roots then the uh, you know uh, complementary function will be c1 cos x plus c2 sin x and here we are getting cos x so this is something that is called as y1 and this is called as y2 in some of the problems they may provide you that if y1 and y2 are this but uh, see when I am solving a question it does not mean that this is just one question from the same multiple questions can be asked they may ask you for this what is the like ca for what is y1 y2 or what is the Ronskian so the uh, finding pi we have a formula that I am writing for your uh, remembrance that is minus y1 y2 into capital X by W dx uh, plus y1 into uh, sorry y1 minus y1 y2 x uh, by W dx plus y2 and then y1 x by W dx okay so if this is the formula what are the terms that we need to know so here we already know uh, y1 and y2 but we don't know w so to calculate w w is the Ronskian here uh, cos x uh, sin x derivative of cos x that is minus sin x derivative of sin x that is cos x so we get, get cos square x plus sin square x that is equal to 1 sorry this itself may be a separate question and what is the capital X the capital X is the right hand side divided by the coefficient of highest order term so here the coefficient of highest order term that is y double dash is equal to 1 so it is basically cos x okay so I am going to find pi now means which will involve integral so pi will be minus y1 so means minus what is y1 y1 is cos x into y2 so y2 is sin x into the right hand side that is uh, cos x uh, by w that is 1 dx plus y2 so sin x y1 that is cos x the right hand side that is cos x divided by 1 dx and uh, so cos x into sin x will become 1 so integration of dx will be x so I will get minus x cos x and plus sin x cos x by sin x I can write it as cos x by sin x dx uh, which is basically cot x but if you take sin x as u cos x dx will be du so this will be like minus x cos x and plus sin x and it will be log of mod of sin x so this is what the pi looks like so which option will be correct minus x cos x so we have this this also minus x cos x and plus sin x log of mod of sin x so I think the option C will be correct okay now uh, 
in exams sometimes the, because you might have noticed that it has taken me more time uh, maybe three four minutes but in exam just to uh, make the problem simpler for multiple choice they may ask the question like this also so they may say you that if y is equal to ax into y1 plus uh, bx into y2 is the general solution right then uh, what is the value of ax and uh, you know and it is also given that y1 is uh, cos x and y2 is sin x even though if it is not given we can calculate it from here so uh, how will you calculate ax the ax will be calculated by using the formula minus y2x by w dx plus constant c1 and how the bx is calculated bx is calculated using the formula that is y1x by w dx plus c2 and it is not very difficult to remember because you see here when I am writing this uh, this is like minus y2x by w dx and then this y1 term is coming so uh, this except this y1 the whole thing is ax and except this y2 here the whole term is bx so this is how you can remember in case if you have understood fine otherwise you can check the method of variation of parameter video now in this problem I don't have to calculate bx I just have to calculate x but still I have to calculate w so w uh, as we have seen in the previous problem cos x uh, sin x uh, integration uh, derivative of cos x is minus sin x and this will give me cos x so it will be like 1 so what is ax ax will be minus y2 here is sin x uh, the right hand side here will be tan x and divided by 1 dx right so uh, what did I get here uh, we wanted to get uh, just uh, minus uh, sin x by uh, sorry sin x and tan x is sin x by cos x dx okay so what will I get I will get minus and sin x into sin x will be uh, sin square x so sin square x by cos x so how can we uh, integrate it further to integrate it further I will write uh, uh, sin square x as 1 minus cos square x by cos x dx yes or no and uh, constant of integration uh, we add in the beginning itself because don't miss it plus c so here I will write minus and I separate the term so I will get 1 by cos x so that will be integration of sec x dx and minus cos square x by cos x so I will get integration of cos x dx plus c now what is the formula for integration of sec x I hope you remember that is minus uh, already there and integration of sec x is log of mod of sec x uh, plus tan x okay and this minus and this minus will make it plus and integration of cos x is sin x and then plus c so this is how we calculate the ax part so which option will be correct uh, minus log of sec x plus tan x plus sin x plus c so this a option will be correct similarly if they ask us to find bx I am not going to do the whole calculation because for this w I already know is equal to 1 so what is bx bx will be equal to uh, you can see the result here I have defined y1 x by w dx so y1 x by w dx so what is y1 y1 is cos x and uh, uh, capital X is tan x uh, w is equal to 1 dx and plus c L, I should not forget to add so I will get uh, it is cos x and sin x by cos x so it will just be sin x dx I hope you got it tan x can be written as sin x by cos x cos x cos x will be cancelled so I get integration of sin x dx plus c which is like minus cos x plus c so this option will be correct but the next problem that I am going to show it is just a, uh, a special case of this and sometimes they try to confuse you with this so be careful here whenever they will write the solution like uh, y is equal to ax y1 plus bx y2 you just see the question that whether they are calling it a general solution or like in the next question whether they are calling it particular integral 
So if they are calling it particular integral, then in that case, there'll be no change in the formula. Only thing is that in that case, we don't have to add the constant of integration. So bx will be just simply y1 x by w dx. I repeat it. You read the question carefully that whether it is uh, given that if the particular integral of this is y is equal to ax y1 plus bx y2 or whether it is general solution. If it is particular integral then we don't have to add the constant and if I don't add the constant like here I have got minus cos x plus c so if I don't add the constant I will get just minus cos x and see they have just given both the options to you minus cos x plus c and minus cos x but if it is particular integral it will be just minus cos x okay so method of variation of parameter topic is also completed now I'm going to talk about a method of uh, undetermined coefficient and here I'll be solving many questions let me see how much time is there in the video 25 minutes so let me see how much time uh, I am going to uh, devote to this and later I will talk about Euler Cousy form and in the end I will also give you some problems to solve uh, in this question in this kind of problem uh, in a MCQ exam they will not ask you to find the general solution this is a usual uh, assumption if they ask you should not say that you told like this but this is the usual assumption uh, that if I solve it by method of undetermined coefficient uh, we are most uh, likely to be uh, asked that find the trial solution and trial solution is basically uh, to find the PI so whenever we find the trial solution uh, we look at the right hand side in case if you want to see the detail watch the video of method of undetermined coefficient in the playlist uh, in the video I have highlighted that a student make the mistake of writing the trial solution just by looking at the right hand side but we don't have to uh, just look at the right hand side we also have to look at the complementary function after some as amount of practice you will be able to uh, you know write the particular integral directly the trial solution directly because you can sense that what is going to be there in the complementary function but as a beginner you should try to write the complementary function also so you see here the auxiliary equation will be 4m square minus 1 is equal to 0 so that will give you 2m plus 1 into 2m minus 1 is equal to 0 so m is equal to 1 by 2 and minus 1 by 2 so the complementary function will be c1 e to the power half x plus c2 e to the power minus half x okay when I look at the right hand side I hope you know that when the right hand side is e to the power mx the trial solution is taken as c e to the power mx so here the right hand side is e to the power 3x so the trial solution is e to the power 3x into a constant a so the correct option is a you may see that what was the need to write this complementary function part because it is possible in some of the cases that those terms which I am considering in the trial solution are also present in the complementary function so in that case we have to do the manipulation that we will see in the coming questions now if you look at this again uh, I can see that it will have uh, you know uh, terms which are free from uh, uh, any uh, x uh, any polynomial term but anyway just for your convenience if you look at the right hand side the right hand side is x square plus 1 it is a polynomial of degree 2 so polynomial of degree 2 then we have to write a general polynomial of degree 2 ax square plus bx plus c so the correct answer will be this why should we write the complementary function and why I have not written the complementary function that I leave for you to think or let me uh, answer that also because if I write the complementary function what will be the auxiliary equation m square minus 3m minus 10 is equal to 0 so I will get m square minus 5m plus 2m minus 10 is equal to 0 so I can take m common I will get m minus 5 I will take 2 common I will get m minus 5 is equal to 0 so I get m is equal to 5 and minus 2 so complementary function is c1 e to the power 5x plus c2 e to the power minus 2x and you can clearly see that if I am taking this as the trial solution there is no exponential term here so the trial solution will be this right uh, some of you who might have doubts about method of undetermined coefficient this might not have made sense to you so please in case if you have doubt watch the detailed video it is a small video you will be able to understand next question now if I look at this uh, what will be the uh, first of all let me write the complementary function so the auxiliary equation is m square 
plus m minus 6 is equal to 0. So this will give me m squared plus 3m minus 2m minus 6 is equal to 0. So this here I can take m common m plus 3 I can take minus 2 common that is m plus 3 is equal to 0. So I get m is equal to minus 3 and 2. Complementary function is c1 e to the power minus 3x plus c2 e to the power uh, you know uh, what uh, 2x okay now uh, if I have the right hand side like this then the trial solution will be simply uh, a cos 3x plus b sin 3x I hope you remember that if the uh, right hand side is sin mx or cos mx in both cases we take the same trial solution that is a cos mx plus b sin mx so here it will be the correct option will be b now this question is interesting and here I will be highlighting the concept that I highlighted in the prob uh, problems earlier so what I am saying is that uh, let me just see that yeah this question this question also I think I wanted to do this question I discussed just a minute this question I discussed this question yeah no problem this question okay so if I uh, look at this question to find the particular integral of this by method of undetermined coefficient so if I write the auxiliary equation I will write m square minus 6 m plus 9 is equal to 0 so that is basically m minus 3 whole square is equal to 0 so I get m is equal to 3 and 3 okay so what will be the complementary function complementary function will be uh, c1 plus c2 x e to the power 3 x so if I have to write the trial solution yp I will write looking at the right hand side only I will take the trial solution as a into e to the power 3 x but it will be wrong why it will be wrong because if you look at the complementary function we already have c1 e to the power 3 x means this kind of term is already present so if this kind of term is already present then what should you do you should multiply it by a suitable power of x so if you multiply it by x do you think it is correct the answer is no because you look at the next term this next term is c2 x e to the power 3 x so x e to the power 3 x is also present in the complementary function so I should multiply it by x squared so now this will be the trial solution so the correct option will be c here okay okay so let us quickly uh, talk about this uh, problem to find the particular integral by method of undetermined coefficient the trial solution should be taken as so again it is important here to write the uh, aux uh, complementary function so for that we need to write the auxiliary equation that is m square plus m minus 6 is equal to 0 I hope all these things are very much clear to you so I will write m square plus 3 m uh, minus 2m minus 6 is equal to 0 so I will get what I can take m common I will get m plus 3 uh, minus 2 common then I will get m plus 3 is equal to 0 so I will get m is equal to minus 3 and 2 so the complementary function will be c1 e to the power minus 3x plus c2 e to the power 2x and if I ask you what will be the trial solution to find the pi if I just look at the right hand side I will write a e to the power 2x and if I write this I will make a mistake because you can clearly see that uh, e to the power 2x term multiplied by a constant this kind of term is already present uh, can you see this or not so you can see that these are the both same terms you see here it is constant c2 here it is constant a but otherwise they are same term right so whenever we have such situation what we do we multiply it by suitable power of x so I am multiplying it by x here now do we have x into e to the power 2x term present in the solution the answer is no so means I have to take this as the trial solution so the correct option will be b in this case okay okay so let us uh, look at this question and uh, I don't know whether you have noticed I have taken the complementary I mean uh, trial solution when the right hand side is exponential function when the right hand side is uh, sine cos uh, or trigonometric function when right hand side is polynomial function so for your uh, practice I have taken uh, all kind of it so here I am taking a special case means uh, where we have e to the power ax sine bx type 
so if i just have to write the trial solution by looking at the right hand side i will write e to the power uh, 2x uh, c1 or since they are using constant a and b i will write a cos uh, 3x plus uh, b sin 3x right and lot of student will write this and will commit the mistake so don't just jump to the conclusion we need to be very careful when we write the trial solution because I have written the trial solution just by looking at the right hand side but I also have to look at the complementary function but to look at the complementary function first of all we have to write the complementary function and so first of all we have to write the auxiliary equation that is m square minus 4m plus 13 is equal to 0 and then I will find the roots m is equal to minus b so plus 4 plus minus b square so which is equal to 16 minus 4 into 1 into 13 so it is 52 by 2 into 1 so ladies and gentlemen what I will get I will get uh, 4 plus minus under root minus 36 so that is 6 i by 2 so what I get is 2 plus minus 3 i okay so the complementary function it will be e to the power 2 x and c1 cos 3 x plus c2 sin 3 x and the smart uh, students might already have realized that this is nothing but the same thing which I am taking in the trial solution you see you have e to the power 2x you have e to the power 2x you have cos 3x terms multiplied by a constant you have cos 3x terms multiplied by a constant you have sin 3x terms multiplied by a constant and you have sin 3x terms multiplied by a constant so in this case to uh, keep the trial solution independent of the complementary function what we need to do we need to multiply it by a suitable power of x so means we need to multiply it by x right so uh, the correct option here will be the option b so with this we completed the uh, uh, method of undetermined coefficient part and what is the time right now 36 minutes so let us quickly talk about the euler cusy form so first kind of question may be asked that which of the following is not in euler cusy form so in euler cusy form if we have the second order derivative of y it should be multiplied by the second power of x first order derivative of y should be multiplied by first power of x no derivative of y should be multiplied by no power of x means x to the power 0 so just constant so this is in euler cusy form so no problem if i look at this x square y double dash uh, minus 2xy so this is not in euler cusy form why it is not in euler cusy form because uh, when you multiply some term by x x to the power 1 when you perform the first order derivative of y so x if you are getting a y dash here then you can multiply it by x but 2xy it is not allowed right so the correct option is this because they were asking which of the following is not in euler cusy form this is also in euler cusy form because y double dash is multiplied by x square y dash is multiplied by x y is not multiplied by any power of x and in the right hand side we have a function of x okay so this is a very simple question now uh, to solve the euler cusy form we have to make a substitution and they may ask questions related to making the substitution also so we make a substitution like z is equal to log x or x is equal to e to the power z so don't get confused if they give you this option or this option both of them are similar thing sometimes they may give you in another variable also like x is equal to e to the power t so don't say that in the video i saw a e to the power z and here it is e to the power t basically it is same thing right uh, if i write z is equal to log x or if i write t is equal to log x right some people write uh, theta is equal to log x so it is all about the convention i prefer writing z right so what is the process of solution uh, the process of solution is that if it is x square y double dash you replace that by d into d minus 1y and if it is x y dash you replace it by dy if it is x cube y triple dash you replace it by d d minus 1 d minus 2y for detail you have to watch the detail video right and here this capital D stands for not d by dx rather it stands for d by dz because I am making the substitution z is equal to log x and I am uh, changing the uh, variable uh, the differential equation which was originally in terms of y and x in terms of y and z so y remains the same that dependent variable independent variable changes these are all basics anyway let me solve it 
So the process is that x square y double dash will be replaced by d into d minus 1y. x y dash will be replaced by dy and this then minus 4y is equal to 0. So if I simplify I will get what? I will get d square minus d plus d minus 4y is equal to 0. So minus d and plus d cancel. d square minus 4. d square minus 4y is equal to 0. Okay. Now uh, I hope there is no problem here. So uh, if this is a differential equation, now this is a linear differential equation with constant coefficient and we know how to solve it. So to solve it we write the auxiliary equation that is m square minus 4 is equal to 0. So I will get m is equal to 2 and minus 2. So what is the general solution? General solution is and this is a mistake some of you may make. So here I will write C1 or since they are using the terms ca capital A and capital B so let me use that term only so capital A e to the power 2x no e to the power 2z because here the independent variable is z plus capital B e to the power minus 2z so should we leave the option like this no because z is something that we have introduced so I will write A e to the power 2 log in place of z x and b e to the power minus 2 log x. So 2 log x will be basically uh, x square. So it will be like a x square plus b x to the power minus 2. I hope you remember this that e to the power log x is equal to x. So it is 2 log x and 2 log x is nothing but log of x square. So what we get is a x square plus b x to the power minus 2. But none of these options uh, seems like this, so the correct option will be D. Okay? This is a good question. I hope you have understood. Let us solve this question again. So to solve this, again I will do the same thing. 4x square y dash, I will replace 4 in place of x square y double dash. I need to write D into D minus 1y plus 16 uh, dy uh, and plus 9y is equal to 0. So what do I get? I get 4. Uh, d square minus 4d plus 16d plus 9y is equal to 0. I hope you are clear about all these things that I have highli highlighted earlier. That I am making the substitution z is equal to log x and here this d stands for d by d dish. Okay. In MCQ I know the things so I don't write those things because uh, in subjective exam I will write the details. So I will write what? I will write 4d square and plus minus 4d and 16d. So I will get 12d plus 9y is equal to 0. Now this is a linear differential equation with constant coefficient. So basically did you realize that euler cauchy form of the linear differential equation? Uh, what we do we change it to in into a differential equation with constant coefficient and then we apply the method that we already have discussed. So once it is reduced to the differential equation with constant coefficient we don't have to think much about this. Okay. So uh, what we are going to do? We are going to write the auxiliary equation that 4m square plus 12m plus 9 is equal to 0. So can you see this? This is 2m plus 3 whole square is equal to 0. I hope you can see a square 4m square b square 9 and ab is 6m so 2ab is 12m so I am getting 2 values of m that is minus 3 by 2 and minus 3 by 2 so the roots are repeated so what is the general solution general solution is c1 plus c2 x no c2z e to the power minus 3 by 2z right don't make the mistake because they have given you this kind of option and lot of student will take this option right because we have to write the answer in terms of z and then we have to change it in terms of x so c1 plus c2 z is equal to log x and e to the power minus 3 by 2 z so e to the power minus 3 by 2 z is equal to log x so I hope you can see that this will be nothing but c1 plus c2 log x and x to the power minus 3 by 2 so 1 by x to the power 3 by 2 that is x root x I hope you understood it will become x to the power minus 3 by 2 means 1 by x to the power 3 by 2 x to the power 3 by 2 is x into x to the power 1 by 2 so the correct option will be option C okay 
so with this i i am completing this uh, in case if you want to solve some more question here the, this is the question uh, take the screenshot and solve it i'm waiting pause take the screenshot pause take the screenshot pause that's the end so thanks for watching i hope you will solve this questions and let me know the answer in the comment section i have uh, put lot of efforts and i hope you are also appreciating the best part is that you are acknowledging the effort but i would suggest you that uh, you should also share with everyone who is coming across you and uh, not only this uh, after midterm or after the other exams also i am going to uh, share the content so this channel that has been created it will take care of all your math requirement even the competitive level exam and i have also planned to create videos related to aptitude placement related videos so this will be a very uh, important channel for you in your academic journey and in case if you love poetry <laughs> i also share poetry videos so after your exams are over watch those poetry videos and uh, you know understand the finer nuances of life so that's all best of luck have a nice day